Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for my second 12.4.2 drive. We are doing our Carl Sandburg alternate route. So this is a slightly different route. Uh, consider that car just crossed over the yellow line. I think my car handled that great. Oh, uh, are we going to go faster than 38 now? Maybe. This is new. Yesterday, because of that bright sun, it seemed a little bit more hesitant. But today, this is the f this is the first time it's gone 39 here. It would be set dead at 38 here. I, th I have a feeling they're kind of testing the waters on roads that have incorrect speed limits. We have a 25 mile. The, the speed limit is 45 on this road for anyone um, that's not aware. So it it, it marks at 25. Now the law in North Carolina is if the speed limit is unmarked, I think it's an automatic 35. And when you're in the back country, uh, back country roads like this, it's 55 if it's unmarked. However, I know this road is 45. So, and as you can see, a 45 sign coming up now. But, um, yeah, this is new, which is great. It's a step in the right direction. So it needs to, like, learn. I, I don't know what it's going to need to do, but it needs to learn that it's 45. Maybe what it's doing is just, it's basically like, okay, it's, speed limit I have in my database is 25 but I'm going 39 the user isn't disengaging or intervening maybe this is good um, and then so it learns and then like you know they go up another mile an hour on the next update or something like okay they're still not disengaging okay then maybe this should go faster I don't know it's just gonna learn based on the road type wait a second Up. Yeah, they fixed it. Let's go. <laughs> I hope that's not. I hope that's not a one-off. They um, what it might fix it. They kept full side driving enabled until it's merged onto the highway. That's the first time it's ever done that. It's actually correctly merged on the highway here. Finally. Wow. Okay, that's a welcome improvement. I've been waiting for that for a while. So let's see if it does it again on the other things. I did not, like, again, on my last update, um, last video, I, I just didn't expect to see so many little improvements. I don't know why. But this this is like, this point release has as many improvements as I expect for a full release. So, uh, at least in the past, full releases would get these type of updates in the past. Also, let me actually turn on the AC because it's gonna warm in here. A question to everyone that has a Tesla. So it's 76 degrees outside. I have it set to 67. To make it cool in the car, I have to have it set pretty low. When I first got my car, I could have it set to 72 and it would be an ice box in here. But now I have to set it like 66, 67 degrees for it to be cool in the car. And this, this was not the case. I, I've been in like mid 90 degree temperatures and it would be an ice box at 74. I had to have it set to 74 degrees and it would be an ice box in here. But now I have to have it set below below that. So I, there's nothing wrong with the compressor because it blows ice cold air if I set it low enough. The problem I have is Onyx right in the back with me so I have dog mode and that's restricted to 66 miles an hour. Sorry. Uh, 66 degrees. <laughs> my, my head was focused on those blinking lines right there. There's a speed limit sign. Um, but yeah, so my... Uh, it, yeah, and so sometimes in the right temperature outside, like this temperature right here, it might actually blow warm air out the back vents instead of um, cool air. Because I think, I think my sensor is inaccurate. And there's no way to check what it's actually reading. And I'm told the sensor is up here. Um, and, you know, there's no way to, I don't know, maybe, maybe a, I, I think it thinks it's colder than it is. That's pretty, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that light that's out there. Someone painted it patriotically. Um, it's July 4th today. Um, everyone in the U.S. is having a great Independence Day. Those outside of the U.S., hope you're having a great day as, as well. 
Yeah, so I'm curious if anyone else that has a Tesla has that same issue. I saw actually someone with a brand new Model Y post the same problem. You shouldn't need to set it the mid 60s to keep it cool. Like it, the, the smartest this car is, I'm like it's 76 outside, right? And I have it set to 72. It shouldn't never be blowing warm air. That just shouldn't happen. But it does in the summertime. So I think it's just one of my sensors are not accurate. And, but Tesla won't do anything about it. They say nothing's wrong. I brought it in the service for this like four different times. They just, they, nothing's wrong. They do the AC test in the service mode and everything else. Everything passes and just, they won't do anything about it. Like that's, it's, I'm not going to worry about it too much until I can't use dog mode anymore without it blowing heat in the summertime. I have a person really close behind me, right in my bumper, which is why the car wanted to get over. Which, that's kind of new behavior, because normally I wouldn't turn the blinker on until it got past the, the, that semi-truck. This also seems to be new. Maybe they were slowly refining the highway. That was a better merge. It didn't swing over. I think they're still making changes to the highway stack, everyone. Because this is it's supposedly still version 11. But, I still think they're making changes to the highway stack. That model I was booking it. But yeah, I think they're still making changes to the highway stack, even though it's not truly version 12 yet. I think they're making small iterations. So when they change over in 12.5, it actually has, you know, it actually works correctly how you want it to. Like to me, this could be going faster on this, but I think, I don't think it's inappropriate. It's just it should be going faster already. I think it's because we have this other curve up here. It doesn't want to go faster and then slow back down but in my opinion it could have been going 55 for a while now and then it can already be speeding up to 60 and it should be going ahead and getting over in my opinion already here it's getting over and in my opinion it should have got over sooner than this uh, when I said earlier, it should have got over, but like it's not, it's not like this is a bad thing per se. It's just that's just my personal preference. Driving habits is why stay in the left lane when you don't need to. It's not. It's kind of just rude driving behavior to hug the left lane just because. Let's see if they fix this with it would always fly off the on off ramp. No, no. See, it's speeding back up, and now it's slowing back down. Is because it went in between the auto and max. So that, that's something I think will be addressed in 12.5. Though this does seem to be slowing down a little bit better. Could be placebo, but this does seem improved. That should not go. Okay, if it's gonna go, you need to go. Interesting. That's. I mean, I guess that worked. The car behind me slowed down, but in my car accelerated. But it did also if it, it fixed, you know, improved. There wasn't this crazy fast acceleration um, that would normally happen. Always got to watch the police. Please, I don't know why this. I think it, I think I have like some like mild form of PTSD with police cars because I got a ticket because I missed the speed limit sign. Um, I don't know. This is like seven eight years ago now um i missed this i went from a 45 to a 35 and they had a speed trap there and i didn't see the 35 sign and then i got like a 14 over and a 35 or something like that which is total crap because i i started slowing down the second speed limit sign i saw and it was too late they had already got me so i'm just really paranoid now about speed limit signs it's just i read a card the car just go at reasonable speed all the time and because if it's driving why do I care it's gonna it's not gonna save you more than 30 seconds of time to go a few mile an hour or less so it's just not it's not worth speeding also I should note this road is improved speed wise that it was more timid on this road before this is exactly what it should be going like 38 39 40 now, a little, this fast, maybe that's a little bit too fast, but but it's still appropriate. I do, like, this speed right here is great. This is an improvement. This 
always an interesting ride. We do have a car coming. And it's just gonna casually pull out. Now we do have a cyclist here. Now last time we had a cyclist on this road, I didn't want to pass them. Especially we have a blind turn right here, so it shouldn't pass. That's probably, yes, yeah, no, nah, I, I think it's safe. Though it could have, it could be going a little bit faster in here. Maybe it sees the school zone, and it thinks, I mean, it's July 4th, school's not in session. Um, so, I, I do wonder, I've never looked at the law for that, but do you have to go the school speed limit zone, speed, if it's not, if school's not active, like on a holiday? I don't know. So in school zone, speed limit 25, but everyone goes 35 in this area. And yeah, as soon as it went past that sign, now it's going 35 again. Which, this is probably what I'd be going right here. This is, this is very appropriate speed, I think. Yeah, I think this is, this, this speed control is even further refined with 12.4.2. I really, I really feel it's even, even further improved. 11.4.1, oh, sorry, 12.4.1 improved it, but 12.4.2, even better. Handled that really well because that's a narrow, like, one lane bridge, essentially. So it handled that really well. It's going through these curves really smoothly. Is this dry, was this drive perfect? No. Uh, there's still a little bit, like, it's kind of, like, pulsing the accelerator. And... <laughs> and, um, so... I, I think that could be improved, but it's, it's not like... Would that stop it from being a robo-taxi? No. Like, that's just, no, it's like... And that, to me, is, like, a relatively easy thing to fix. And human drivers do that all the time. And you don't really notice it, though. I think if you're not a true passenger... If I'm not paying attention, I probably wouldn't even hardly notice it. So I'd be on my phone or looking out the window or something else. But here, as the you know the passenger in the driver's seat, I have to make sure it doesn't do anything dumb, which is always possible. You know, like yesterday, it turned off the wrong road. So I'm like, okay, well, what, <laughs> what's it doing? So I have to make sure it's following the route correctly and all that stuff. See, like, what it's doing? Look what the steering wheel's doing right now. Yeah, I'm not doing this. The steering wheel is just turning. I guess some humans probably do just kind of turn the wheel because they're bored at a stoplight. And the cars probably learned that. The cars probably learn, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to turn the steering wheel because the human turned the steering wheel. And even though it has no need to do that at all. Cool St. Bernard right there. A hot day for that dog. Okay, this is really appropriate. That needs to wait for this car and it can go. Okay, it just needs to make one more turn. And I, if it makes this turn, then I confidently can say this is the best it's ever been. We're gonna jinx it. You can do it, car. You can do it. Hey, it slowed down for that bump right there. I, personally, I would go faster over that, but that's fine. Let's see if it's going to allow me to park in this parking lot. It needs to learn that. I'm going to just take a left here. Yeah, it's not showing any parking spots. So, right here. And I'll even report that. Oh, it's not letting me report it. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because I'm at my destination. That's fine. Um, but guys, I can confidently say again. This is the best it's ever done this drive. All those little speed improvements, like getting onto the highway, all that stuff. Just step in the right direction. Everywhere, step in the right direction. Tell me what you think down below, and I'll see you in the next video. We're ready to go on a hike. Aren't you, Onyx? Bye.